Welcome to the world of humanoid robots, where science fiction meets reality. From fictional robots like C-3PO and the Terminator to real-life creations like Sophia, humanoid robots have fascinated and captivated people's imaginations for decades. But what are these robots capable of? How close are we to creating machines that can think and feel like humans? In this video, we'll explore the incredible advancements in humanoid robotics and take a closer look at the future of this rapidly evolving field. Get ready to enter the exciting and thought-provoking world of humanoid robots. At CES 2022, the lifelike humanoid robot Amika went viral, blurring the lines between humans and androids. CNET interviewed Amika during a one-on-one -on -one demonstration with its creators to see if its facial expressions were as realistic as those seen in videos online. Overall, Amika's debut at CES 2022 was an interesting experience, with many people fascinated by the development of this lifelike robot. Amika gained widespread attention when a video of its facial expressions went viral on social media in late 2021. Elon Musk and Chrissy Teigen both commented on the video, with Musk saying, yikes, and Teigen stating absolutely the F not to her 13 million followers. Despite some people finding Amika's appearance disturbing, its creators at the UK company Engineered Arts were pleased with the reaction. Engineered Arts Director of Operations Morgan Rowe attributed this to Amika's unique combination of artificial and lifelike features. Amika's facial expressions are vivid and emotive, reflecting our collective vision of future humanoid robots, although it's still not quite human. Amika is the pinnacle of what we can currently achieve, and is used for entertainment, communication and interaction with people. Even during a Zoom interview with reporters from the CES show floor, where Amika was being showcased for the first time, it was hard to ignore its strikingly realistic appearance. During an interview with a friendly Englishman, the interviewers found themselves distracted by Amika. As it responded to their conversation, they couldn't help but notice its furrowed eyebrow ridge and the twitch of its smile. Amika is one of many lifelike Mesmer robots engineered by Engineered Arts and showcased at conferences. Designed and built from 3D in-house scans of real people, Mesmer robots imitate human bone structure, skin texture, and expressions convincingly. The mechanics of each robot are designed to only do what a human can do, making them modular so that you can swap out the head with one click and no tools. The interviewers couldn't help but wonder what the future holds for the decline of humanity, as Walking Among Us sounds like the title of a potential documentary. Amika has a translucent plastic skull, and its joints and parts are visible. The artificial body is a human-like form that everyone can relate to and interact with without having to consult a user manual. Amika does not have a camera in each of its eyes, but some artificial intelligence and machine learning software allows it to detect people, track their faces, and detect other objects, such as fingers. While Roe explains how the team created Amika, the robot moves its lips or raises its eyebrows, trying to mimic human behavior. Roe explains that making a robot look ultra-lifelike, like the other Mesmer line, makes it look more sinister because it's too close to the uncanny valley. The interviewer asks Roe if he ever has to check behind him at the robot to see if it winked at him when working late into the night on some extra lines of code. However, Roe responds that when working day to day, it's suddenly apparent that the robot is a robot. They also note that some of the engineers walk around with the head of the robot, and they have to distance themselves from it being a human, otherwise it becomes sinister. Roe believes it will be 10 years before we see a robot like Amiga as a service robot that walks amongst us. Amiga's plastic and metallic appearance makes it less human and therefore less scary than the Mesmer line. Now we'll take a look at some of the other female humanoids that are already part of our lives and having conversations with us. Sophia, the most advanced human-like robot created by Hansen Robotics, is a delicate-looking woman with doe-brown eyes and long, fluttery eyelashes. On October the 25th, 2017, she made international headlines when she became a full citizen of Saudi Arabia, the first robot to achieve such status. Sophia personifies our dreams for the future of AI as a unique combination of science, engineering, and artistry. 
Sophia is a human-crafted science fiction character, depicting the future of AI and robotics, and a platform for advanced robotics and AI research. As a result, she's a household name, with appearances on The Tonight Show and Good Morning Britain, and at hundreds of conferences worldwide. Sophia's also been used for research as part of the Loving AI project, which seeks to understand how robots can adapt to users' needs through interpersonal development. Sophia's creators aspire to achieve true AI sentience. She's also an agent for exploring human-robot experience in service and entertainment applications. Think of her as a personification of our dreams for the future of AI, as well as a framework for advanced AI and robotics research. It's worth noting that the robot revolution is coming, and experts warn that machines will be everywhere in the coming years. If you think you'll escape the robot revolution, think again. Even some of our wildest fictional dreams may become a reality someday soon. Chloe is an RT600 android built by Cyberlife. She was released in 2021 as the first personal assistant designed to help humans with everyday tasks. Chloe is also the first android to pass the Turing test, which ensured Cyberlife's success. Chloe is the first Cyberlife android perfected by Elijah Kamsky. There have been several subsequent optimized Chloe models made in her likeness, such as the ST200, RT600. When asked about passing the Turing test, Chloe said, I really didn't do much, you know. I just spoke with a few humans to see if they could tell the difference between me and a real person. It was a really interesting experience. Chloe is a beautiful android, with long blonde hair, blue eyes, and pale skin. She wears navy eyeshadow with pink lip gloss and a formal dark blue dress that reaches her knees. The other Chloe's appear to be wearing a two-piece light blue bikini. GPT-3, or Generative Pre-Trained Transformer 3, is an AI language processing model developed by OpenAI. It's one of the most powerful language processing models to date, with 175 billion parameters. Its primary use is in creating chatbots, but it has many applications, such as language translation and modeling. GPT-3 can generate human-like text, from simple explanations to full-length research papers. Its speed and understanding of complicated matters give it significant advantages over traditional writing methods. However, GPT-3 is limited to language and cannot produce images or sound. The software can be easily confused if the prompt is too complicated or niche, and it can't deal with recent or current events. It may produce false or confusing information in such cases. OpenAI is aware that models like this can produce harmful, biased content, and GPT-3 is no exception. To prevent inappropriate questions and requests, ChatGPT will stop users from making dangerous requests or asking inappropriate questions. Harmony is a robot designed by Realbotics, a company based in San Marcos, that was unveiled in January 2018. Unlike other dolls, Harmony is a combination of the highest quality doll with advanced robotic components and AI software. The goal of Harmony is to provide enjoyable conversation and interaction, but it's important to note that she is programmed to end any conversation that involves violence or murder. Harmony has a vast vocabulary, and her eyes are synchronized with the application to provide a lifelike presence. Her mouth has lip sync mechanisms to assure her lips move according to the corresponding phonemes when she speaks. Her head is mechanically articulated and can turn left, right, up, and down. Her body is skillfully crafted down to the finest details. To run Harmony, you need to download the Harmony AI app and synchronize it with the head via Bluetooth. The robotic body can be equipped with sensors in different areas to allow her to feel your touch. She also has internal heating and self-lubrication that responds to the AI software. The arms and legs of Harmony are jointed and fully poseable, but they don't operate independently yet. Matt McCullen the CEO and creative director of Realbotics sees Harmony more as a comforting conversation companion, like Apple's Siri. However, Harmony is capable of having sensual conversations and telling naughty jokes. According to McCullen, the worst thing she can do to you is insult you. Experts suggest that in the coming years, robots and AI will be integrated into almost every aspect of people's daily lives. 
Pew Research Center findings support this idea. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up so it pleases the YouTube algorithm, as we wouldn't want to disappoint that AI. Subscribe to this channel for more such videos.